name is Mary. We are the Mullet family. In today's video, I am headed over to my sister's house. We're gonna have some fun. your shoes off. Okay. Okay. I hope it's not too chaotic. Sorry. Oh, I get a hug. Uh, this is my younger sister, Josie. She is quite a bit younger than me. So we're going to hang out together today and have some fun. Yep, we sure are. I should say two shots of coffee. This is our espresso machine that we got for a wedding present. And here I am just tamping it down to get that really good shot of coffee. And then we just make sure that it's perfect, the right measurement. And here we go. And then, whoops, sorry, I don't know where I put my picture. <laughs> here we go. So then here, I'm just pouring the milk into the pitcher. This is nice raw milk that we get from the local farmer just down the road, so that's awesome. Okay, Mary, what kind of flavoring would you like? Oh, my okay. sister Jolene, I don't know what happened. She's the tallest of all of us sisters, <laughs> and she's the youngest. Yes. What do you have here? Organic candy cane mint. Caramel I'm going syrup? to take the caramel syrup. Okay. Yes. When she makes coffees, her and her husband are just amazing. Every time we come over here, they make us coffee. So, and here is my little shot glass that catches both shots. Now we're just waiting on the wand to heat up. I usually let it get rid of all the water. And here we are just steaming the milk. And you like to get that foam on the top to make a nice creamy Mom, did you latte. Put my on? Okay, and here we are going to be pouring our shot or double shot. Just lovely. Not that she, lovely. Oh yes, it's nice. <laughs> it's how it tastes anyway, right? Yes, hopefully. Okay. It's good. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, now we, you have to make your own and let's sit down and enjoy it. Okay. Yes, I want to make my own. I haven't had coffee yet this morning, so. So good. That will be fun. So good. <laughs> Uh, 
check the chickens' eggs. Check the little box. We can open the boxes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you saw who said it. Does. See, I'm not used to it too, <laughs> either. You know that little chicken house right there? Her husband built it. It's so cute. It's made out of logs. Well, little, yeah, little spindles. Yes. So my husband built this little, um, this little, I don't even know what you'd call it, but you can lift it up and just look for the eggs in there. So I, you don't even have to go inside. It was, yeah, I'm pretty proud of him. It was pretty genius, genius idea. I guess maybe other people do it. I don't know. Anyways, I don't have enough hands to get the eggs right now, but, and they're usually, our chickens are usually free range. So they run all around and. It's just a beautiful grove of aspens. We come down here in the summertime. We go in the water. The creek is running right mm -hmm. behind us. And this is where Josie and her husband got married a yeah. few years ago. Just there in the back in June. And of course, then it was a lot more green and beautiful. <laughs> this is March, so. And you can hear the kids playing in the background. Everything. It's beautiful. And this is March and it's the leaves will be coming out in just a few weeks, but right now it's still kind of bare, but it's warm. This winter was a very cold winter here in Montana. This <laughs> feels warm and spring-like. Yes, it does. Pretty soon the leaves will be coming out and it'll be lush and green. And this is a beautiful, we have picnic tables down here. Yeah. Swings, and the creek is right down there. We often go swimming back there. So there is a brush pile back there right now, but in the summertime, it's just gorgeous down here. Josie's yep. husband, Elam, made this swing before they got married he <laughs> found this piece of driftwood what was it in the creek well i don't even know if it's driftwood technically he just he found it up on the mountains when he went to take a hike and he, they, and he, he built the swing he carried it all the way down the mountain because he thought it would make a good swing and it was right here where we got married so this was a prop for a lot of our photos yeah so it's beautiful yeah oh, i'm gonna take a ride yeah <laughs> Well, I'm back from Josie's house, and don't these just look really good? They are a Ritz cracker vegetable casserole made by my good friend, Rachel Koblenz.
Hello, my name is Josie Byler. I am Mary Mullet's younger sister. Um, I just wanted to say that I have an Instagram page called Clothed in Grace. If you search that, it should come up. Um, anyways, it's where I buy thrifted clothing and resell them. So yeah, you can go check me out if you want to um, check the Instagram page out <laughs> if you want to see what I have on there.